Hey, I'm Dan Beldowitz bringing you another quote from the car. This quote, actually, well, it comes from me. Uh, and, and basically, the quote is, you're either average by accident or great on purpose. Waking up is where it all begins. Now, it's not a knock on average. There's nothing wrong with average. Average is average. But if you're listening to this, if you're reading this, then then more than likely, you want something more. There's something more that, that you want out of life, that you want out of a relationship, out of, out of a job, out of a career, out of a business. There's something more that you want. Maybe you realize that, that, that there's something missing, that, that this can't be it, that there's no way that this is all there is to life. I go, I get up, I go to work, I come home, and I do the same thing every single day, day in and day out. And all for what? So there's gotta be more, right? And you look at those people like, the, the, the Bill Gates, the Elon Musks, uh, the Gary Vees, and, and you wonder, what, what do they have? What are they doing that, that I'm not? That they're where they're at and I'm where I'm at. And it, they got intentional about their life. They said, you know, screw this. I'm not going to let anything else hold me back. I'm going after what I want. And most people never do that. You know, most people don't fail in life because they aim too high and miss. Most people fail in life because they aim too low and hit. And most people don't aim at all. That's what being on purpose is all about. It's actually having intent to your life. It's about waking up and saying, I'm done being who I was. I'm going to become who I want to be. And that's where you got to step outside of what everyone else is going to think of you, what everyone else is going to say, and start living by your own rules. You know, we live by these rules of what we think life is supposed to be, what we should be, instead of what we could be. So in order to be great, you've got to step out. You've got to be aware. You've got to wake up to the fact that you're where you're at, but you get to choose the destination. You get to choose the next step. It's not doing it all at once. Sometimes it's doing it just a little bit. Just moving forward on the continuum of life, where you're going, step by step, inch by inch, inch by inch, everything's a cinch. Yard by yard, life is hard. So take just the next day. How would you live today if today was your last day? Right? And people are often asked that question and they, they, they all of a sudden forget about the bills. They forget about the job. They forget about the things that bother them. They forget about the drama. And they start realizing what's really important to them. So if you want to be great, stop living life as, as if it were an accident. Start living life as, on purpose with some intent, with some enthusiasm, with some passion. That's how you reach profitability is, is really, and it's not just profitability in, in a monetary sense, but in happiness, in fulfillment. It's what are the feelings you're going after? What would you like to feel like? What are the emotions you'd rather experience on a regular basis? And start creating the, the experiences that give you them. For you, where do you want to go? Who do you want to be? What are the things you want to do? What are the experiences you want to have? What are the feelings you want to have? Because it starts by getting intentional about it, waking up on purpose and going at life as if it weren't an accident, but it were actually on purpose. To figure this stuff out, you've, it, it, does, it doesn't just come in an epiphany. And that's what most people feel. They want this shortcut. And it, they just want it in an instant. But the shortcut is really the, the work that you got to do. It's creating the vision of where you want to go. It's knowing what it is that you want, the, the desire of it. It's, it's focusing on it and cutting out all other distractions and creating a plan of where it is you want to go. And then taking massive action on a continuous, persistent basis to actually achieve it. And that was the whole point of the Wake Up On Purpose Planner was to actually help you execute on that. To help you figure out your goals, help you figure out your vision, your desires, then create a massive action plan to actually get there. Then help you over the next 90 days to implement that on a, uh, on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis. So all of a sudden you can see these, these milestones being met. And do it day by day, hour by hour, breaking it down so that you can actually see it. Because if you're not doing it daily, then you're not really in it. So if you haven't picked it up yet, go get the Wake Up On Purpose Planner. 
Schedule out the next 90 days and see what actually happens to your life. As we roll into 2020, do you have a crystal clear vision, a 2020 vision of where it is you're going to do? What are you going to do next year? Are you going to set the same resolutions as last year? And what didn't you accomplish this year? Leverage the planner. Get the planner. Start putting it in. Start scheduling you back into it. I'm Dan Beldowitz, and it's time to wake up on purpose.